What is going on guys, Sebastian the Squiddy here. In this video, we are going to continue the series where I sell this anti-gravity case and I start a brand with it, where I order inventory and set up a website, start marketing the product, start fulfilling the orders, all of that stuff. So far what we've done is pick the product and we have inventory now. So again, like I mentioned in the last video, I have 500 units of this case and I'm ready to go. So in this video, what we're going to do now is set up the website. Website is the most crucial part of this because if you have a bad website, you will not convert your traffic. You have to have trust with your website. You have to have tons of credibility and assurance for your customers and they have to trust in the brand so that they will give you their money and have the transaction with you where you send them the product. So that's what we're gonna set up in this video. And then after that, the next video will be us marketing the product. And then after that, the video will be us fulfilling orders and how to do all that process because I feel like that's something a lot of people want to see. Before I get into my computer, understand this isn't the actual website I'm using. This is a uh, like a duplicate of it where I'm customizing it and showing you guys exactly what I did on the legitimate website. I just don't wanna cross contaminate the traffic and have you guys go on the site and then have me not know how many views or visits I'm actually getting from TikTok influencers because of the fact that I am going to just be, again, doing influencers and it's very hard to gauge because they have to manually just type in the website just like you guys will have to. So I will have no idea how much traffic's coming from TikTok and how much is just coming from you guys. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, but again, we're gonna be setting up the apps, the website homepage, the product page, the theme, the color scheme, the checkout page, all of that stuff. I'll give you guys tons of tips on like what to do, how to make sure your website is trustworthy, all of that stuff in this video. So without further ado, let's get into my computer. Uh, side note, I don't have a face cam just because it's not this like nice scenery. It's just in my office and there's inventory all around me. So I can't really show a face cam, but yeah, let's uh, get into my computer. Okay, so we are in the Shopify dashboard for this new website that we are creating uh, because we are creating a brand and this is the step two of the video series and I wanted to do the website because we need a good platform before we can contact influencers and stuff we need to have a website so that we can show them that we have some sort of credibility now understand I'm not doing this on the actual website I'll be using to market the product because I do not want to get the traffic cross contaminated with my YouTube subscribers and the people who view these videos um, with the ones that I'm or the ads that I'm running because that will then have a negative effect on how many actual clicks I'm getting from TikTok influencers because I can't really track it. It's just I have to take note based on the volume of traffic that's coming in. So there's no way for me to currently gauge like which traffic is coming from where. So it's going to be hard to actually understand which traffic is from you guys and which is from marketing. So this is just going to be a test store that I use to create the website so you guys understand how I'm setting up my websites. I've already created it, so I'm going to just go through everything uh, and show you guys exactly how I do this stuff. So first things first is the product page. So I just titled this product. As you guys know, we're doing this anti-gravity case. I just titled it anti-gravity case. We could do something like fly case. I think that's what we did for this site. Uh, fly case. So we can say the fly case uh, or the fly case phone case for iPhone and Samsung Galaxy is the original stick anywhere protective case for using your smartphone hands free. And then I basically list out uh, the technology right there, like how it works and all that stuff. I basically just mentioned some bullet points of what the product is good for, who will use it. Now these highlighted points, I actually just took from goatcase.com. I did not uh, actually write these. I rewrote the ones on my real website, but I don't want to use that because if you guys saw that, you could just Google search those uh, keywords and you, my site will come up. So I didn't want to include that in this video. And then also uh, stick to almost any surface, any smooth surface, and I have a list of flat surfaces and the stars rank how much they stick. So wood and leather is the least sticky, uh, mirror, glass, those are highly suction uh, surfaces. So after that, we just basically say, uh, I'm actually gonna delete that, delete this as well. And um, boom, then it just says, just wipe with a damp cloth if your phone case loses the stickiness and boom, that's about it. And then I just have a photo image, a product price, 1495, 29, actually we'll do 97 because uh, apparently that is supposed to like make that just looks kind of weird. Um, but apparently this is supposed to make your sales go up by crazy numbers. Not really. Um, people just like the, 
97. So that was the product. The next thing I always do is create these three pages. I always create a contact us page, which I write here. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. We will reply within 24 hours. This is regarding, if this is regarding a current order, be sure to include your order number. Thank you. And then I always select the page contact uh, template. And then that will, I'll show you guys what that looks like. That'll just come up like this. So it has a nice little text right here and then uh, they can fill out this form. I'm actually going to format this in center because it looks a little better. So we'll do that and then we will go to the next page. I believe the next one is FAQ. Yes, so basically what I just did for the FAQ page, I wanted to write out how the case works because a lot of people would be curious and skeptical. Oh, is this case a scam? Does it actually work? Blah, 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 blah. So I wrote, how does this case work? And then explained how it's nano section te suction technology that allows it to stick to any flat surface, but is smooth to the touch when you're holding it in your hand so that they know the phone case isn't going to be sticky if they're holding it. It's going to be normal, like a normal case, but when they want to stick it to the wall, it will happily stick to the wall. So I wanted people to understand that they could hold hold it like a normal case and it wasn't going to have any issues. The next one I said, where are you based? We are based out of California. We ship out of California as well and have very fast shipping times. Now these are definitely simplified versions of what I would say. I would definitely go in a little more in depth with what I'm saying, but I just want to get my point across for you guys because I feel like that's important. The next one I always say, what's shipping time? Since we are based in California, we're able to offer free US shipping that takes four to seven days. We also offer, offer express two day shipping. This does not, I'm gonna add something else. Okay, so I quickly added these two sentences as well. This does not include the two day processing time. Same day processing is available as well. Now I'll explain that right now. Basically, I'm going to say we have two day processing, which means two days plus four days is six day shipping. So if they want it faster, I'm going to add in an upsell where I basically just upsell same day processing and it's going to be very simple to do uh, basically when they add a product to cart it will pop up on their product page and say would you like to add same day processing would you like to add uh, something like uh, extended warranty would you like to add all this stuff and it's going to increase our average order value so that's one thing I'll do as well I'll show you guys I haven't set up the apps yet so I'll set those up live for you so you can understand how I do that because those things are a little complex for a lot of people but the next thing what could I use this case for just again, listed out some things you could use it for. Do you do returns? Yes, we accept returns for products that are in the same packaging and condition we got you got it in. We do not take used returns. Do you offer refunds? Yes, if your product is defective or comes broken, we will happily refund you. And then I could add something like no questions asked or something. Um, so that's that. And then uh, let's add the apps real quick because I, I don't have them added. So we'll go to the app store and add these. The two essential ones I say if you're doing a one product store is going to be Candy Rack. This one's very, oops, I cannot spell. Candy Rack and then let's add this one real quick. Actually, we'll set this one up and then I'll talk about the next one. Verifying cookie configuration. Okay, okay. All right, so we'll scroll down and install this app. And again, also one thing I wanted, forgot to mention, Shopify has three month uh, trials now. So I'll have a link in the description for a Shopify three month trial, meaning you don't have to spend a penny for Shopify for your Shopify plan for a whole three months, which is crazy. It used to be 14 days, so take advantage of that. We're going to select the fly case. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, do this actually oops I did this wrong um, okay well we'll still do this we can still do this one um, this needs to go away we'll apply a discount so we'll basically say do you want to buy this at another one at 15% off um, actually let's do 20% off 25% off yeah 25% off is fine um, so we'll do that and then we will have this say get another fly case for 25% off and then we will put that as the first position actually we'll do third I'll show you why right now also I always check this remove upsell product when parent product is removed one thing that's important if they try to buy the first product and then they add this one and then they just remove the first one I believe there's a bug where it'll give them this for just $11 but 
if you check that, it'll automatically remove it so they have no access to getting a second one or getting it at a discounted price. So we'll save that and then we're gonna add some more upsells. So we have that one. Let's add new upsell. This is going to be, where is it? First in line, so we'll add this and then we will just title it same day processing. We don't actually need to change that. We'll do same day, same day processing. Did not do capital P, processing. Oh wait, oops, there we go. Okay, same day processing instead of a two day, enjoy, enjoy the same day. Yep, that is fine. We'll do $2.99 since our product price is very, very cheap. So we'll add that. And then we will do this as uh, first. Save. And then we're gonna add one more because we need to increase this AOV. Now we have those two. Now we're gonna add one more. Okay, so we're gonna say a 12 month extended warranty. Stay worry free for a small fee. Cause you know, we like rhyming, so why not? Price, this will be an extra, we'll just do an extra $3.99, nothing crazy. And we will set this as position two on the fly case. Add, and that will be it. So now, let's have this save and activate once it's done. I'll show you guys what it looks like basically. Okay, so now that candy rack is set up, we are going to type in quantity, there it is, quantity breaks. What this does is this allows people to buy a product at a discounted price if they buy in bulk. So if they buy three, they get it at 10% off. If they buy two, they get it at 5% off. If they buy four, they get it at 15% off, etc. So we want to price this to where we're still making a profit, but it's it's overall gonna make us more profit, but also the customers are saving money. That's important because you wanna give people a reason to buy more. So that's the place, that's like why this app is pretty fun. What's nice is you get to use this app for free if you only have a one product store. It's free to use, but if you have multiple products, you can't use this for free, you have to pay for it. Um, so that's that kind of sucks, uh, but we'll do that. And then this fills with the little shoppers on the product page. Uh, what is this? I forgot what I titled these. Okay, let's add three. Let's see, two, five, three, ten, four, fifteen. Boom, okay. We'll add this product. I believe I set this up properly. I don't know what this is though. Okay, all the apps are set up now, so now I'm just going to show you guys how I customize my websites because this is also a very important. I again, always use the Brooklyn Playful theme. That, so that's what this is. Off the bat, we have a free five day US shipping header. That's fun to use. It, it helps entice people to buy with you because you're offering five day shipping for free when a lot of these drop shipping sites are offering one to two months shipping, which is terrible for your customer. That's not what they enjoy. So I put that at the top always. And then I have a simple logo. This is a Montserrat font, just typed in fl uh, flight case in Montserrat and that's it. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. And then I have home shop FAQ shipping. That is just essential to have on your uh, header. It looks nice. It has all the essential stuff that people need to know about. If they want to know about shipping, they can click that FAQ, boom. And then on the footer, they have contact us, shipping FAQ search. I usually have a, a few more, but um, you get the basics of this. If you wanna add more, it's very easy, like a refund policy, terms of service, um, privacy policy all of that stuff uh, you can add as well. But for this, for the actual homepage, the slideshow, I'm going to end up creating a video where I basically just stick the phone, uh, the phone case onto a wall and have the logo on my background image of my phone. And that's gonna be the video for the homepage. It's gonna be very native and it looks very organic and I'm just gonna put that as a GIF here. And that's gonna be it. It's gonna look good on either desktop or mobile because it's gonna be focused in the middle. So that's gonna be that, but it's blank for now. And then basically I just say, what is Flycase? Flycase is an anti-gravity case that sticks to almost any flat surface. It has nano suction technology that makes the case feel smooth to the touch, but sticky to flat surfaces. 
After that, I say why fly case? Why not? Seriously, filming videos has never been easier since the fly case was released. Whether you're in your bathroom, your room, outside, you will always be able to stick your phone to a wall and film videos or watch videos hands free. What are you waiting for? Join the fly club. I don't like to be boring with my brands, I like to have a fun voice with them just because it allows you to get more personal with your customer base and have a more personal relationship with them. If you're very serious and strict, you don't really get that personal connection. So when you can be fun and say like, why not? Ser like, like why fly case? Well, why not? Like seriously, it's never been easier since we released. That is very fun and playful and it allows your customers to trust you more. They, they feel more comforting, uh, or they feel more comfortable with you and it's just an overall better feel uh, on their end. They feel better when they shop with you. And then I have, uh, I actually need to edit this. I need to show, actually that's fine, whatever. Um, we'll show sharing options because that looks a little bland. But fly case, this photo is low quality. I didn't add a professional one. I just added one that was on the internet. Um, again, this is not the actual website I'm using. This is just one to demo for you guys. But this is basically how the homepage is set up for my legitimate site, for the site that I'm actually going to be selling this product on. Um, we'll go to the product page and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So for the product page, we have a uh, picker type button. We have a large sized uh, add to cart button. We have thumbnail photos because when we are selling this for multiple iPhone models, we will need uh, to have multiple images and stuff along those lines. So that is essential. Um, and then this is the how the uh, description looks. And then what I would also do is I would also add a reviews app. I'm not going to do that on this uh, site, but I would add a reviews app like Luke's or something along those lines. And then you can fabricate some reviews. And then once the time comes when you're actually getting sales, they can easily integrate reviews onto your site. So it looks great and professional. Another thing that I always do is I always edit my uh, checkout. So I always go here and customize my checkout logo because when you go here and you add it to cart and you check out, the logo is very bland. It's just, I believe it's, uh, I haven't even set this up actually. Um, so yeah, it's just that. But we could select, we could select that. And that does not look crazy good. Um, we'll position it in the center, medium. That doesn't look crazy good. I'll wait for this to load. I know it's not gonna look amazing, but uh, it's taking a while. While we wait. Okay, so. I added this logo. It doesn't look that good. Normally what I do is I Photoshop this logo with a safe checkout, like safe checkout badges to the right, and then have that all integrated so it looks nice and sleek. Um, I don't want to add it onto this video because a lot of people can just Google reverse image search, and normally my websites will probably come up, so I don't want to do that. Uh, but then accents, I'm just going to do black because it's a very dull uh, product. It's not like a flashy, colorful product, so I don't want to make any buttons flashy. If anything, I could use like a green or something, um, but I'm not really worried about that. But again, I don't really set these websites up super complex. I have, again, free day shipping, uh, my logo, home, shop, FAQ shipping. This will be a GIF of my phone sticking to a wall, so that's gonna be that. And then here, I just have an image with text explaining what is Flycase, and then why Flycase, and then a product, and then a newsletter, and then a footer page, and my payment um, options right here. And then that's basically it. And keep in mind, this right here, as you guys can see, your boy's got PayPal activated. Reason being, when you're using brands, when you have inventory that offers five day shipping, you can use PayPal. I use PayPal on all of my brands and have no issues with them, simply because I offer very fast shipping and my customers get the product in a very timely manner, which is amazing because I increase my conversion rate and my customers love me. So take note, that is something that's great and normally increases revenue by around 30% which is awesome. That's something you can't really do with 20 day shipping on uh, AliExpress. Okay, while I was editing the video, I realized I didn't go back into my product page and show you guys how the apps work. I was editing the apps, uh, like the part where I talk about apps, but basically here's what the quantity, oh, sorry, I hiccuped. Here's what the quantity breaks looks like. Uh, if you add two to cart, you get 5% discount, which is instead of 14.97, you get them for 14.22. If you buy four, you get them for $12.72. That's what the app does. Looks very simple and minimal minimalistic. And then if you add something to cart, boom, same day processing. You got extended warranty, fly case set for 11.23, add to cart. So you can do that. That's how the uh, 
that's how the upsell works. So that's basically it. Um, okay, let's get back to the video. I just wanted to show you guys that because I did not, so sorry. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed me setting up that website live. I again, set it up very simple. I didn't have any crazy complex things to do because it's not necessary. A lot of people overcomplicate with their website. Even myself, I used to overcomplicate the heck out of my websites. Now I just focus on quality custom content, a simple theme setup with, I, again, I use Brooklyn Playful, a simple color scheme. I didn't really use a color scheme on this website because it's a very bland product. It's just a black phone case, so it's very hard to incorporate colors and stuff. Some of my other brands, I have very colorful uh, schemes going on and it looks amazing, but for this one, I definitely did go with a minimalistic design because I felt that it flowed with the product very, very well. So that again is how to set up a website properly. And that's gonna be the site that we're using to sell this little anti-gravity case. So moving forward, our next steps are going to be creating our Instagram page and then starting to contact influencers. So I will film a video in probably a few days and get on Instagram, create the account. Again, it's going to be a test Instagram where I'm just showing you guys what I normally would do. It's not going to be the actual one that I'm using simply because, again, I don't want to cross-contaminate the traffic on Instagram or uh, my website with you guys like viewing it. I have no problem with you guys looking up the website. It's just I don't want to, you know, uh, cross contaminate the traffic. So moving forward, the next things we have to do, we have to create an Instagram page, contact influencers, and hopefully, hopefully we can like put a deal together in the next video where we ship out a product to influencers and cross our fingers and hope that uh, we make sales from that. I have no idea how it's going to go. I'm super excited. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button so more of my subscribers can see this video. I guess that's how the algorithm works. I have no idea. If you guys want to subscribe for the rest of the series, you guys definitely can click that subscribe button below. If you guys have questions or anything about that or just want to say what's up, drop a comment in the comment section below. And then also, if you guys want to follow my Instagram, it's just at TMP. I'll leave a link in the description for like Instagram, all of my other social platforms. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, I'm super excited to finish this series because I'm curious to see how it goes. I, I have no idea like what it's gonna hap what's gonna happen, if I'm gonna sell out of this inventory or what. Uh, but yeah, we will see. I guess time will tell. Hope you guys learned a lot from setting up this website. Uh, don't overcomplicate it. I think that's something you guys hopefully should have learned by now. Um, keep it simple. Just have trust on your website and uh, customers will buy from you. So look forward to the next video should be out in maybe five to seven days. And yeah, I will see you guys in that video. Peace.